Welcome to another exciting edition of Painting with Jesse Ganderilla. Today's co-host is brother from another mother, El Allen. Hey, how's it going, guys? So, right now we're watching Jesse paint this robot monster. Yeah, robot monster. Ro Roman from the Robot Monster movie. An old sci-fi uh shitty classic <laughs> B B horror movie at its finest cause it just makes it's very bad Alan nah I don't know I think it gives uh, bestiality a new name at least uh, from what I've seen <laughs> that, that, that's what the B and B movie stands for bestiality uh, I, I'm pretty sure it does <laughs> I mean it gives uh, BBC a new name uh, big bestial cock Big BCO interracial cock. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna get a comment of that one. But <laughs> I'm painting uh, Roman, the space gorilla, with the astronaut helmet on a eight by ten canvas using acrylic uh, paints, laying down the foundations right here with some black, some gray, purple, or a purple mixed with gray. And I'm using your basics acrylic acrylic brand. It's amazing how fast he could paint. I mean, usually normally it would take a person at least four or five hours tops, but I mean, he's just like going right at it. Yeah, uh, this piece took me uh, roughly around uh, I'd say an hour. It was like a little small. Um, easy character, caricature piece. I was, I think, I don't know what came into my head when I was, when I thought of painting this. It was probably a robot monster or something. <laughs> yeah, um, it's cause when I first, when I first saw this goddamn movie, let me tell you, I saw the poster, I was all, oh, he has a skull for a face. His body looks like a fucking monster. It didn't look like a gorilla. A gorilla suit. <laughs> a guy in a gorilla suit wearing just like a circle with antennas for a head, man. It, when I, it was false advertising, man. I should have sued. Well, so I don't know. I mean, it was uh, Sasquatch's first movie, like, you know, when he actually did come out on it. So I mean, it it's pretty good at least from what I was seeing. Yeah, I mean, this is Sasquatch is probably his his second cousin. Like, you know how they say, uh, your your second cousins are from outer space. They don't say that, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somewhere out in space. <laughs> somewhere deep beneath the snow. That's what she said. <laughs> right here, I'm, I'm laying the foundation for the background, uh, a light blue just for the sky. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to add some uh, some browns and like text, give it some texture with like a, a rag. Well, right after I do the face, but I mean for the background. <laughs> I'm going to paint uh, just like easy mountains or rock formations. Cause this movie takes, from what I remember, it just takes place in a damn desert, and it and you actually feel like you're in a damn desert watching this movie. Yeah, it's just amazing how Skeletor was able to fit into that gorilla <laughs> suit. I mean, my God! I mean, he's a skeleton, but he's a gorilla. I mean, and a spaceman, and a spaceman to top it off too. I mean, He-Man's gonna have like a hell of a lot of work to do with that. <laughs> Can I tell you one of uh? Roman's fetishes in the movie. What's that? Um, he has a bubble machine because it makes it look <laughs> more <laughs> more sci-fi. This movie was like from the sixties or seventies. I don't even know, but yeah, he had a bubble machine in his uh in his lair. It was in a cave because he fell in love with I think it was the the daughter of the last family left on Earth. From what I remember. I don't really remember. It was like, when I watched that movie, it was like if I was drinking, like my body just wanted to forget. 
It was like a blackout, complete blackout. Well, I guess he wanted to pop her bubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! They they didn't talk like this in the movie. Okay, it was a PG uh, popping bubbles. That's like rated R. Uh, <laughs> right here, I'm I'm just um get, making the outlines pop with like my trust trustworthy uh black sharpie oil based marker. Just cause they were on sale, and Lord knows those things are are three bucks a pop. Oh, shit. For a marker, can you do that, Alan? Three bucks for a marker? Hell no. Usually I have to stick to a five finger discount. I mean, I'm not gonna pay five bucks for a marker. That's that's complete bullshit. Even with a coupon, shit. I want to use my coupon on something more pricier. You know, none of this. I'll, I'll look even more of a cheap ass if I use a a, a coupon for a for a three dollar item. You know. Right, but three bucks is three bucks. I mean. Shit, Lord knows that I, I mean, even a penny, you, you know, it's like what they say a penny saved is a penny earned. <laughs> and for this gorilla, I don't think he even knows what a penny is. Well, I, I don't think the this gorilla knows what the a penny is, but I'm pretty sure the director of the movie he, he knew what a penny was because I mean, the the costume design on that damn movie <laughs> it was like he, he, he just bought a the director just bought a gorilla. He lost the mask. Uh, he just got a scuba mask and said, "Here, work with this." And uh, he found a broken TV and got the antenna from there. And he's all right. We we could do this. We got a movie right here. Well, that's why you always have to shop at the clearance section at Spirit. I mean, you find the most badass costumes in there. <laughs> nah. uh, Spirit does not endorse us, but. We're drinking spirits right now. Or, if you want to endorse us with some spirits. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Damn, this was a good idea. Yeah, you you know it, man. I mean, the spirits win it within us. So, may the spirit be with you. Be with you. Be with you. In you. Let, it, let the spirit be in you. Alright, right here, I'm, I'm throwing in some... Some white highlights with the sharpie, just because it gives me a better, a better, uh, better line, straighter line, and it also helps with the, I guess the, I don't have to lift the the brush or in this case the marker off the, the canvas as much as with like a brush like, refilling it, washing it, all this, you know, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, one time I threw in some white highlights, too, and I mean, people were just calling me Cisco. I don't know what that means, but... Hey, let me see that thong. <laughs> <laughs> Baby! That thong! I should have I, I put a thong on, on roll, man. Look, see? I'm, I'm busting out with the bubbles. Well, you do have thongs on. <laughs> <right now. laughs> hey. <laughs> Yes, that is right. I'm wearing flip flops. I've gotten to that point in my life where I'm just I don't give a damn. <laughs> hey, as an artist, flip flops are your best friends. Well, a thong's a thong. I mean, and I'm guessing from what we're seeing here is uh, the bubble machines. I mean, that's the bubbles, right? That so is the bubbles. Each bubble represents a bubble that he bursted, or <laughs> it, it could be. It was after a nuclear holocaust. I like the nipple fic. That oh, nipple uh, fic. I like that nipple fic. That nipple fic, man, you see those pink nipples. I mean, when I get out of the shower, too, I mean, my nipples are pointing like that, too. <laughs> I mean, uh, they pro they probably ain't pink because... Uh, oh, they are. <laughs> I, I, I hope they're not because, oh, my God, that'll be one scary-ass sight to see. But um, we're already at the... One minute till the video ends, Mark. Um, Alan, do you have any final words for our viewers? Nah, just go check out this uh, 
movie out i mean it's really it's really inspiring i mean i've seen that movie and i mean it inspired me to do a lot with um with my life and my life decisions choices you just seen <laughs> all right guys well um if you see what you like or like what you see and and like this just uh give us a like a thumbs up um write to us on the comments if you want if you have any requests um what else um yeah um let us know if you've seen this uh disaster piece and um yeah see you later guys um roll the credits peace